the Senia Territory Millennium Olive Tree Landscape. The wild olive tree was first cultivated in the Eastern Mediterranean with Phoenician and Greek influences promoting its planting, cultivation and spread. Once established, however, it was the Romans who introduced the olive tree for olive oil production throughout the Iberian Peninsula. The Senia territory, meeting place of the ancient kingdoms of Aragon, Catalonia and Valencia, has the largest legacy of ancient and monumental olive trees in the world. Its spectacular morphology and location, cultivated by the Romans and Arabs right next to the ancient Roman Via Augusta, bears witness to this and has since then survived through the centuries. Undoubtedly, these olive trees are the banner for the two and a half million olive trees that form the majority plantation of the territory. These trees occupy 15% of the land and give work to 13% of the population, figures that triple the national average. As a result, this landscape is referred to as a sea of olive trees. In response to a growing awareness of the large number of monumental olive trees in the region, the Senia Taula Commonwealth carried out, and now regularly updates, a complete inventory of all the olive trees with a trunk circumference of over 3.5 meters at a height of 1.3 meters above the ground. Included in the inventory are the GPS locations of all the trees, their data and their pictures. In total, there are more than 4,800 trees, 96% of which are of the Fargo variety. This makes the Senia territory completely unique. The inventory was the first step in order to initiate conservation and management projects designed to ensure the future of the olive tree landscape in the area. This landscape, where the monumental olive trees are found in a setting of olive groves and traditional farming systems, terraced fields and dry stone constructions, together with a unique flora and fauna, is an excellent example of the interaction of natural and human factors, as stated by the European Landscape Convention. Thanks to collaboration from public and private sectors, Excellent results have come from programs that have been implemented to enhance the intrinsic value of the millinery olive trees and their environment. The Senia Tower Commonwealth, comprising 27 municipalities, and the Senia Territory Association, made up of 50% the Commonwealth and 50% members from economic and social sectors, have both been at the forefront of all the actions undertaken and therefore have been able to gain cooperation from governing bodies, both state and regional, and from participants in many other sectors and groups, both inside and outside the territory. The most significant results of the project. Increased awareness of the owners and the people of this territory. In the last century, particularly during periods of reduced economic return, many olive trees were replaced by varieties with a higher yield and were even uprooted and transported to alternative locations to become ornaments on roundabouts and in private gardens. Now, however, owners have seen that by producing the highest quality oil, they are better paid for their work and they are still able to retain their exceptional heritage. As a result of this, once abandoned farms with examples of these trees are back in full production. Today there are eight mills, six cooperatives and two private that are producing certified olive oil of the highest quality exclusively from millinery olive trees. The production of different types of traditional oils has also seen an increase, be they single variety oils or blends, and in addition to this two cooperation agreements have been signed with the best restaurants in the area. In order to be able to visit these trees without either harming them, interrupting ongoing production or disrupting local farmers from their tasks, an agreement has been made allowing access, signed by farmers, landowners, mills and municipalities. This agreement has led to the opening and running of two open-air museums in Oldicona and La Jana both on farms with a specially high concentration of monumental olive trees. Six areas in Alcana, Kenet La Roige, Vineros, La Senia, Gudul and Oldicona, all of which are clearly signposted in three languages and have free access, 
except for the Arion Museum in Oldicona, where guided tours are available. On top of this, three walking or cycling itineraries have been designed and signposted that offer the opportunity to admire the scenery of the Sea of Olive Trees. Several books have been published. Some of the most outstanding awards and recognitions received. Five awards in total from the Spanish Association of Olive Municipalities. Honor Diploma of the Mediterranean Diet Foundation 2012. Hispania Nostra Award, Fundation Banco Santander 2013. EU Prize for Cultural Heritage, Europa Nostra Award 2014. The project's reach is trans-regional and covers the borderlands between the regions of Aragon, Catalonia and Valencia, but it has also managed to unite the three communities in the defense and conservation of their national and cultural heritage. The landscape of ancient olive trees in the Senior territory is distinctive and uniquely cultural for its intrinsic values for its typological representativity as well as for its territorial significance to the whole area especially thanks to the uncommon longevity of these particular trees it is noteworthy all of the conservation efforts being made advocacy promotion and re-evaluation being undertaken around this ancient agricultural heritage that has shaped and defined the landscape the working life of the local community the gastronomy and the Mediterranean culture as a consequence of the social significance these olive groves have had throughout the centuries they are also a valuable heritage their cultivation has continued up to the modern day and it is this recognition from the local population that underlies their preservation and of course this unique landscape has great environmental significance as part of the natural heritage heritage in the form of monumental trees has an important educational cultural social and economic role that helps enormously to promote sustainable development for the whole area in addition to this all the activities that have been undertaken are the result of an extraordinary partnership between public and private sectors and which has become a role model in all aspects for traditional olive groves both in Spain and in other countries of Europe to quote the jury of the European Union Prize for Cultural Heritage Europa Nostra Awards 2014 in reference to this project we were touched by the images of these wonderful trees and therefore we wanted to acknowledge the effort that had been made to ensure their conservation but at the same time we were aware that there are other ancient olive plantations in Spain and in many Mediterranean countries for which such an extraordinary heritage protection project is an example this land is proud to embrace and support the roots of these ancient and monumental olive trees in constant struggle between life and death. The struggle continues year in and year out, allowing for both hardship and the challenges of time. <laughs>